Why is it important to stress that types of violence we looked at in Chapter 1 are against women? Surely men can be victims of this violence too? Yes, they can. But when we examine this violence in depth, across time and across the world, we find that women are targeted much more than men. Also, women tend to face greater harm than men. Studies repeatedly document the ways in which women and girls are more likely to be subject to gender-based hate, sexual harassment, violent threats, and privacy violations online. For example, the volunteer organization Working to Halt Online Abuse says that between 2000 and 2013, they received 3,787 reports documenting online abuse. 72% of these reports were by women. Violence against women online takes place in a continuum of violence inflicted on women offline. For example, a man is physically violent to his partner and she leaves him. He then uses his mobile phone to send threatening texts to her so that although there is no physical contact, he's able to continue harassing and intimidating her. This online violence often makes the offline violence worse. Take, for example, an incident where a group of teenage girls are sexually assaulted by a group of boys, and the violence is filmed and distributed online. By sharing and repeatedly circulating, viewing and commenting on the sexual assault, the girls are subjected to new acts of violence and have become victims of violence for a second time. Gender-based violence online is fueled by a worldwide culture of sexism and misogyny which sees hatred and discrimination against women as socially normal. This graphic highlights three different levels of gender-based violence. Firstly, direct personal violence. This can be physical, when a man hits a woman. It can be verbal, when a boy calls a girl a slut. Or it can be psychological, when a man tells a woman he is watching her in a public space, but she can't see him or identify him. Secondly, structural violence. This is where the violence against women is part of our social structures. Examples of this are gender discrimination and femicide. Gender discrimination is when a woman can't progress in her chosen career because only men are promoted to senior levels in the company where she works, for example. Femicide is the murder of girls or women simply because they are female. For example, when the girl babies are murdered by their families because they are not considered to be as valuable or as important as boys. Thirdly, cultural violence. This is when people make excuses for direct or structural violence. Victim blaming is when, for example, a woman is told something she did or said or wore caused her to be raped, rather than putting the blame on the rapist who committed the assault.